Thanks for staying with us. Ugandan President Yoweri Museveni has signed a controversial anti-LGBTQI plus bill into law. Activists have seen this move as a slap in the face of human rights. Uh, there have been calls for the president not to sign this bill into law. SABC News correspondent Michael Baleke is uh, standing by to speak to us. Michael, let's uh, thank you so much for your time. Let's start by talking about you know the reaction to this on the ground because some have seen it as a move that is the, among the world's harshest. Hi there. Well, that will sound like that, um, that, well, that the bill uh, or the law now is a very harsh law. Uh, what, let me first say this. The, this law, I mean, the Anti-Homosexuality Act, uh, the Anti-Homosexuality or Same-Sex Relationships have been illegal in Uganda for quite some time under the old law. But this new law, of mm. course, now criminalizes the act of homosexuality. And I would say that uh, locally here, many Ugandans are excited about the president's decision, signing it into law, because it has been a big debate on the streets for religious leaders in churches, in mosques, and everywhere, even in parliament. Uh, people's representatives have been um, speaking loud and tough on, on, on homosexuality in Uganda because of the issues that had come up that was being promoted in schools, it was being promoted, you know, everywhere in, uh, by children in cartoons and all this uh, and that. But I would say on the global scene, well, it has attracted uh, heavy and heavy condemnation. We have seen the Speaker of Parliament lose uh, her U.S. visa uh, immediately after the President signed the law. And then we have also seen now the Global Fund threatening to pull uh, out of the HIV AIDS tuberculosis war. Uh, we have seen uh, PEPFAR, the U.S. President um, uh, program on HIV. We have also seen the UN AIDS condemn uh, this law. So on the international scene, it's a gross human right. But locally here in Uganda, people are excited uh, about the decision of President Museveni. I'm going to get to the activists in just a moment. To your last point, how concerned is government about, you know, the, the pulling out? Because the White House had been threatening some economic, um, you know, uh, repercussions when it comes to this particular decision. So how concerned are those lawmakers in Parliament about this? There is a big concern. Uganda depends heavily on donor aid for its HIV AIDS programs. For its, not just HIV, but we're talking about tuberculosis. We're talking about the number one killer, malaria. And all these funds uh, for, for, you know, for health, education, uh, and all that come from donors. And they come from the US. They come from the European uh, Union. So, the, of course, the government is worried. Almost about 80 percent, almost about 70 percent of these funds um, come from that to subsidize uh, the life-saving drugs like, um, you know, antiretroviral drugs for HIV patients, tuberculosis drugs. These are very quite uh, expensive drugs that a local person cannot afford. So the government is really concerned. But it's saying, you know, it's not, if it means uh, it's not going to give up on its morals because, you know, someone is threatening to pull out uh, of its HIV drugs. They are thinking, you know, you're the one taking away the drugs, but, you know, the people need them. But this is not our culture. So they are worried and they are mm -hmm. thinking, you know, why don't we look elsewhere? And they are thinking, why don't we think about move, uh, moving to China? Think about yeah. Russia, maybe think about the Middle East, which shares the same moral values like they do. Yeah. And Michael, very briefly then, what has been the reaction from some of the activists on the ground? Because they fear for their lives, especially when it comes to the criminalization around engaging in you know, homos acts of homosexuality and all the other repercussions of this particular law. You know, the law um, was passed in early, around early March, mm. and um, the president uh, took, uh, threw it back to parliament uh, to, to kind of, you know, amend some of these issues. So the idea is the real identifying as gay or as LGBTQ is not criminal. But if you're caught physically having that kind of, uh, you, you know, and when, when you're in the act, that is criminal and you could face life in prison. But also, they are thinking, um, if you're gay, but you rape someone, 
you rape someone who is vulnerable, have sex with a minor, or have sex with, you know, if you know you're HIV positive and you have sex with someone, that is aggravated and they think the maximum penalty should be death. So yes, they're they are quiet and they're silent and it's kind of a somber mood for them. But for the rest of the public, the majority think this is good for the country. All right, SABC News correspondent Michael Baleke, thank you so much for your time. Do appreciate it as it gives us the very latest then from Uganda.